Well, in today's broadcast, I have absolute bombshell information to share with you regarding what really happened on January 6th, the so-called insurrection that wasn't an insurrection, no, as you're going to find out in today's broadcast. And as I've been stating repeatedly on RestrictedRepublic.com, this wasn't any kind of insurrection that the J6 committee made it out to be. In fact, they lied to you not once, not twice, but repeatedly. And the mainstream media is continuing to lie to you, despite the fact that Tucker Carlson is now dropping video evidence uh, of what really transpired that day. In fact, Kevin McCarthy gave Tucker Carlson exclusive access to over 41,000 hours of footage from January 6th. And it is small pieces of that footage that you're going to see today. And by the way, these small important pieces of footage were all withheld from the public on January 6th. I've got so much to show you, but if, uh, as a great reminder, if you would check out restrictedrepublic.com, uh, this would really warm my heart because I have been sharing exactly what you're going to hear in today's broadcast. I told you guys right after J6 happened, some of this stuff uh, was a lie by the mainstream media, and today I have been proven right. If you want to know what's going on, get to restrictedrepublic.com. Use the coupon code TRUMP to get it for $5 per month for that entire first year. I've got a bombshell video report coming out today that you're going to want to see, and there's a 14-day free trial on that. But look, we're not funded by anyone but you. So if you're not there helping us survive, well, then we won't be able to bring you the latest on news. So get to RestrictorRepublic.com. But all right, so let's dive into this footage that was dropped by Tucker Carlson. And not only that, at the end of this video, I'm going to show show you, well, something that Tucker Carlson missed, but that was pointed out by one of our representatives. So it's additional information that you're going to want to hold out for at the end of this report. But for starters, let's start first with what Tucker Carlson actually exposed. And one of the main things that he exposed uh, about this January 6th uh, uh, event is the fact that the mainstream media dubbed a ringleader and the ringleader was the Q shaman, you know, uh, the guy with the horns and the fuzz all over his body, uh, also known as Jacob Chansley. Now, if you guys have watched my video report here on Restrictive Republic, what you will know is I have met Jacob Chansley at many protests here in uh, Arizona and he's never harmed a fly, never really done anything wrong. He gets a little Little bit of a crazy strike to me is just a little strange in my personal opinion however he's never caused any trouble he's just uh, a little bit loose somewhere in my opinion not a bad guy though but this is who the mainstream media painted as their ringleader and the sad part is is he is now serving i believe 41 months in prison nearly four years in prison for having walked through unarmed the capitol and here's a little piece of evidence that the j6 committee refused to tell you and that is the simple fact that the that the capitol police let him in to this day there is dispute over how chansley got into the capitol building but according to our review of the internal surveillance video it is very clear what happened once he got inside. Virtually every moment of his time inside the Capitol was caught on tape. The tapes show that Capitol Police never stopped Jacob Chansley. They helped him. They acted as his tour guides. Here's video of Chansley in the Senate chamber. Capitol Police officers take him to multiple entrances and even try to open locked doors for him. We counted at least nine officers who were within touching distance of unarmed Jacob Chansley. Not one of them even tried to slow him down. Chansley understood that Capitol Police were his allies. Video shows him giving thanks for them in a prayer on the floor of the Senate. Watch. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for paying the inspiration needed to these police officers to allow us in this building. So... Police officers allowed them into the building, directed, you know, the Q shaman into the main building there. And he even thought, hey, they're on our side. This is this is great. And somehow for committing that crime, 
He gets four years in prison, nearly four years in prison. I think there's something wrong here with the justice system and people are lying to you. Here's another thing, by the way, that the J6 committee specifically lied about regarding Josh Hawley. Take a listen. To prove that Josh Hawley was a coward, the committee released a video of him loping out of the building on the afternoon of January 6th with a police escort. The tape became a staple on social media. Democrats laughed with derision. Later that day, Senator Hawley fled. After those protesters he helped to rile up stormed the Capitol. See for yourself. <laughs> But in fact, the surveillance footage we reviewed shows that famous clip was a sham, edited deceptively by the January 6th committee. The clip was propaganda, not evidence. The actual videotape shows that Hawley was one of many lawmakers being ushered out of the building by Capitol Hill police officers. And in fact, Hawley was at the back of the pack. The coward tape was a lie. If that doesn't boil your blood, I don't know what will. That is a straight out lie. The, the J6 committee manipulated the actual evidence to make Josh Howley look like some kind of coward. When in reality, they were all being ushered out of the building. Straight up lie. And they're going to accuse Tucker Carlson of the possibility of editing the videos. I, I mean, really? How about another lie told directly to your face? In fact, I debunked this lie on Restrictive Republic. Again, you got to get there. I, I, I debunked this quite some time ago. But they said that Ray Sicknick was killed the day of, the police officer the day of the event. Well, it turns out that wasn't exactly true either. To this day, media accounts describe Sicknick as someone who was, quote, slain on January 6th. The video we reviewed proves that is a lie. Here is surveillance footage of Sicknick walking in the Capitol after he was supposedly murdered by the mob outside. By all appearances, Sicknick is healthy and vigorous. He's wearing a helmet, so it's hard to imagine he was killed by a head injury. Whatever happened to Brian Sicknick was very obviously not the result of violence he suffered at the entrance to the Capitol. This tape overturns the single most powerful and politically useful lie the Democrats have told us about January 6th. There you have it, walking around with a helmet on his head and he, at least at that time, seemed to be fine. Not killed the day of the event, right? It's a very unfortunate thing what happened to him and I pray for him and his family. It's very sad. And look, let me be very frank with you. I am not happy with what transpired on January 6th. There's a lot of bad things that happened that should not have happened. The destruction of property, the breaking of windows, all these kinds of things were very unfortunate. But there are also people there who committed, committed nothing more than trespassing crimes and are getting months to years in prison. This is insanity. And, and they're not treating the BLM Antifa riots the exact same way. People have, they have burned down buildings and uh, like attacked Supreme Courts, vandalized all kinds of stuff, and they get a slap on the hand and, and let in and out. In fact, bailed out on many occasions. But that's aside from the point, kind of going back to the events that transpired on J6. Again, it's very unfortunate what happened. I do not support the events that transpired that day, any violence that took place but we've got to have more of an even justice system not only that but what we really can't have is our so-called uh january 6 committee and our representatives straight out lying to us because they thought the footage would never be released that makes even republicans liz cheney specifically a straight up fraud and liar, which many of us already knew that she was. Now, on top of it all, uh, Tucker Carlson actually uh, brought on Representative Thomas Massey. And here's what he added about the events that transpired. We need a complete catalog of all of the feds who were there. Tell right. us who they were. Exactly. Let's go, let's watch the videos and let's see what they did because there's some really strange behavior uh, uh, on those videos of people behind the police lines in plain clothes, like touching them on the shoulder, talking in their right. ear, walking up, you know, around boundaries as if they weren't even there. It's very odd. 
Uh, I'm the one who asked Merrick Garland. I showed him the tape of Ray Epps. The Democrats didn't like it. I had to show it on an iPad for, for Merrick Garland to watch it. And then he refused to say how many feds were there. So people behind the police lines, tapping on their shoulder, whispering in their ear, that's something that should be questioned, right? And like Mr. Massey said, Representative Massey said, it's they have already admitted that there were federal agents there. And I think one of those agents, in my personal opinion, is the famous Ray Epps, be it FBI, be it DOJ. He is somehow working with some kind of federal agency. Otherwise, why is he not behind bars? And they refuse to actually give us answers on any of that. And I really want the answers as to uh, how many federal agents were there that day and was there any entrapment going on? I think these are questions that we, the public, uh, uh, desperately need. And anyhow, with all of this information, what does the mainstream media say about it all? Well, of course, they're covering their tracks. They're saying Tucker Carlson is editing videos. However, that's exactly what they did. Uh, I don't think he's editing videos. I think he's disproving the video evidence that they gave without sharing the counter side. Take them all together. You've got a picture of what actually transpired that day. And the mainstream media is out there. I believe Communist News Network and others are, oh, he's not lying well show me what he's lying about he showed the actual footage i <laughs> really really and and they're trying to claim some kind of security brief or something of that nature but yet they've already released certain portions of these videos makes no sense to me at all unless you're trying to cover up something or some kind of thing and trying to make something out that it absolutely wasn't this wasn't a full-fledged armed insurrection and, and a coup or takeover or anything like that. It was a riot, not necessarily, not anything that, uh, again, that I support. It's unfortunate that it happened, but the mainstream media is still out there telling lie after lie after lie, and it really, really makes me sick to my stomach. But the bottom line here that I really want to share with you guys is I think this proves that we are in a police state. I do believe we are. I don't believe we're a free country anymore because if we were a free country, then we wouldn't have the FBI, the FBI and the DOJ searching out people for crimes. They would search out crimes for people. And instead, with the J6 events, they searched out people specifically for crimes. This is not something that happens in a free country. This is something that happens in a country that is a police state. Another thing that happens under a police state is everything you do and say is tracked and monitored. Well, here in the United States of America, they literally use our cell phones as massive tracking devices. They can get your geolocation in a certain area if and when they want it. Who you're with, when you're with, what you are doing kind of in that area. These are all signs of a police state. And I think we need to start opening our eyes to that. With that, uh, please don't forget to check out my sponsor, lisahavengold.com. If you guys haven't invested in gold, silver, precious metals, now is absolutely the time to do that. Uh, the great news is, as they have some really good giveaways uh, with any uh, approved gold IRA over $50,000. They are giving away uh, this one fourth ounce gold coin here that you see on the screen or any $20,000 IRA. They are giving away a silver American Eagle coin as well. Uh, but if you kind of want to touch your feet in the water, just talk to someone. They are hassle free. Uh, fill out this information, your name, your number, uh, your email address, hit that, get it now. And they're going to send you a free gold and silver investment guide or give them a call at 1-877-646-5347 and let them know Lisa Haven sent you and talk to one of their specialists on the phone. Anyhow, I love all of you. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven signing out.